hard left-wing infinite bankers, Dave Ramsey, and majority of IUL agents, and people that believe the earth is flat, what do they all have in common? They all are very cult-like, and they become closed-minded, and it's hard for them to see anybody else's perspective. It's like a war where they fight to the death to prove that each of their opinions are right. And they are so convinced that their way is the only way, and they will tear down whatever is in their way along the way. And the worst part is, their way can be dangerous. Is what I said confrontational? Yes, but if you are someone watching and you're already defensive, you just proved my point. Just hear me out. Insurance is supposed to help people. It is supposed to make people's lives better, enhance their lives today and for the future. What we have officially done to the insurance industry, and honestly the entire financial industry, is truly a disgrace. It is turned and who has the biggest hammer award? And along the way, lie about how our hammer actually works. Say it operates like a saw, or better yet, say it can fly. Because of our never ending betrayal, misinformation and greed, we have created skepticism in the entire industry. All I'm saying is it's time to stop putting lipstick on a pig and just share what is really going on. Because at the end of the day, all we really want is what's best for the client. If you don't and you are just greedy and money hungry and you will do anything to get it, then you should just leave the industry. You may ask why I titled this video, why infinite banking is ruining the insurance industry. Well, one, I knew it would get your attention. You are here, aren't you? But two, before I really tell you why, let me start by defending infinite banking. Infinite banking is actually a strategy, not a product. It was created by V. Nelson Nash, the creator of Becoming Your Own Banker book. He is an absolute legend and transformed the industry for the better. There are even current seminars where people come together to collaborate to make the concept better. Courses to become certified and even people in the black coats that nobody sees that is slapping people's hands saying, you're sharing this message wrong, which I'm a fan of. Now here's where it went wrong. It went from a phenomenal concept to created by a legend, but now it's taken a turn for the worst thanks to our good old friend, the internet. People could quite frankly say whatever they wanna say without any repercussions, really. So what does any good marketer do? They ruin it for everybody else. They teach bad math, they share strategies that are almost impossible to stick with, they don't share the full story, and a lot of the times they don't even share that they're selling insurance. Mainly because they really don't believe in it, they just believe in the hype around the concept that essentially leads to money. And I don't mean helping people with money, I mean them making more money. The idea of getting rid of banks, they are evil, stick it to the man, eliminate them all and become your own bank has become a revolutionary movement. And quite frankly, I empathize with them because people are tired of not making money in the bank making all of it but here are the consequences you have skepticism from the consumer so people think it's a scam you have people that should not be getting involved in the policy and eventually get burned and what ends up happening is people's policies cancel people don't fully understand what they are buying and it's leaving a lot of dead bodies behind figuratively of course and now you have insurance companies aka mass mutual one of the largest mutual insurance companies saying we do not want infinite banking clients or becoming your own banker. And to be honest, rightfully so. The rising interest rate environment is putting a lot of stress on the insurance industry. As loan rates increase, the dividend rates increase, their bond portfolio yields increase, and they now have to figure out how to maximize profits. And I promise you, you taking policy loans and not paying them back does not benefit the insurance company's pocketbook. To be quite frank, even if you do pay the policy loan back, you still taking the loan isn't their preferred method for their business model. You have the big four mutual carriers, and I will throw Penn Mutual into that mix, so let's talk about the five of them. Mass Mutual, New York Life, Northwestern Mutual, Guardian, and Penn Mutual are all not fans of infinite banking and are very open and adamant about it. And quite frankly, it isn't the strategy's fault. It's the marketers and messaging to the consumer that's becoming the issue. We even now have a double whammy where people are selling IULs where they have no idea how the product works are selling the infinite banking strategy in conjunction with the IUL. Oof, sounds like a disaster. I'm not someone that likes to share a problem without a solution. So here is my solution. Consumers, please do your own due diligence on the agent you're working with, the company, and the product as itself. Agents, stop being a tool bag. Do the right thing and understand the product and strategy that you're selling. When you fully understand it, promote it with truth and integrity. Don't be the person that is using exciting marketing schemes to reel in the consumer when they are already skeptical and they already think it's a scam. And what we're just doing is adding more firepower to people like Dave Ramsey. Infinite banking can be a very powerful strategy 
as can an IUL. And honestly, even the things Dave Ramsey says, if, and I mean if, it is a right fit for the consumer and they fully know what they are getting involved with. Dropping the mic on this end, please subscribe for more truths about the industry and life insurance as a whole.